Um, Shalom, all praise to Yah, Basham Yah Shai, Basham Rakah Kadash. Um, Double honesty, the pastors at Great Millstone. Salute to the brothers doing the work, pushing the truth and sincerity and truth. Uh, pretty much just a quick video, but um, you know, we just you know, some spirit hit. You know, just brother kind of said something to me, and I was just meditating on it. But you know, pretty much, bro. Um, you know, man, I'm gonna read this. The the, the brothers at Great Millstone. And this Israelite thing is put is, is out there, bro. And you know, there's always videos, bro. There's always videos to watch. So when it comes to Great Millstone, and you know, you know, other individuals, whatever. But you know, bro, there's videos out there in abundance, bro. And pretty much, you know, we're at the time where Esau wants to cut the net off, and the net's getting flooded to the point where this man's getting all messed up, and it's just a spirit, really, at the end of the day. Well, let me read this, Isaiah 62 and 6. And this ain't going to be no um, super lesson or nothing. It's just a quick hit, really. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Now, when you go into the ancient world, you had high towers, you had walls, you had fortress walls, the old castle. And you'd have you had, you you'd have a castle peak and you have like a hole in it and people have bows and arrows and certain types of arm, armory and stuff. And people would watch out. So if someone was coming up to try and besiege the city, you would have men watching and they would be able to warn the people in that city. You know, a, a strategic wall is a defence. I mean, you're supposed to have borders. That's another thing. But where the watchmen on the walls warning about, warning Israel and war, warning about the elect about what's coming, the RFID, the World, World War Three, which is, what is the Lord's wrath? Because Esau is a pawn of the Lord. Esau is a pawn of the Lord. The, the Lord ain't no pawn of Esau, which Esau, he's he's fucking the devil. He's he's a he's a he's a lame, you know. He's proud. He believes he's the Most High, but he ain't the Most High, bro. Okay, it says I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Which that proves Yerushalayim, city of peace, if, if I'm not mistaken on that. But it says which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Okay, I think it is city of peace, Shirah and Shalom. Anyway, we shall never, we shall never hold their peace day nor night. Now we're in a time where the, every day you get up, bro, you got your TV screen, your public full box. People watch the TV; they're being educated by that box, bro. So this is counter education. This is real. This is counter to the to the to the filth and the um, whatever you want to call it, man. The GMO doctrines. And the false god ideologies that Esau is giving. This is the truth, bro. That's why we're pushing it like a 24-hour news station. We're pushing it like a 24-hour news station. You know? That's and it's brothers in GMS. And the apostles are says be on fire, brother. It's the truth. Now, it is what it is. You know, I'm not trying, I'm just saying, man. I mean, it is what it is in whatever predicament you're in or whatever. But I mean, I'm just the general thing I'm trying to say is that. The, the truth is out there and the Lord's got his men teaching this word, bro. Whether it be on the street speakings, you can go and watch them street speakings anytime. Because Esau, this is a war, bro. It's a spiritual battle. And Esau's out there trying to get our souls. Esau's out there trying to destroy the men of God. You know what I mean? He's trying to, he's trying to destroy. He's already, he's destroyed the minds of the people, Isaiah 16 and 2. But through the spirit of Yahweh Shammai, was shy, man. You know, he ain't got shit on us, bro. Lord willing with a hopeful elect. Esau ain't got fucking smack on us. He said, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. They ain't going to hold their peace. We're in the time of bless up and all that. They ain't nothing to bless. We're in a cursed world and Esau's going to have to be destroyed with what? World War Three, thermonuclear destruction. Point blank, period, bro. Blank period point. It says, Ye that make mention of the Lord Yahweh, keep not silence. Meaning, don't don't take a uh, four year break like Fopi. Don't do that shit. That, that's a mess. Yeah? What was you doing in those three, four years? However long it was. How what was you doing in that time? You went warning the people. You went you went you went flooding the net. You weren't doing a damn thing, bruv. You was you was in the world. You weren't doing nothing. You weren't making this happen. Because Esau is making it happen. As we speak, there's TV shows 24-7, deep uh, programming of, 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 of GMO, satanic bullshit and folly and all kinds of crap.
crap. All you gotta do is go on your mainstream channels. It's all BS. That's what these people are all messed, messed, messed up in the head. Yeah, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So everybody's saying God loves everybody. You out of your mind because the Lord he wants his prophets out there until what? What's a praise in the earth? Jerusalem. And that proves that the so-called Jews ain't the real Jews. Because they're ruling, ruling everything. The real Israelites are decorative deck in, in, on the bottom. So the Lord is saying, we're going to teach until we get put on high. The elected 144,000, the house of David. You know what I mean? Where, you know, the elect men of Yehovah, Basham, Yehoshua, Basham, Rekha, Kadash, man. That's the truth, bro. That's the truth. And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. We're not a praise in the earth right now as it stands. That's why we go out there, we teach, you know, we, you catch hell, we're all going through hell, you know, and all these different things, man. You know, but we, we're we waiting for the kingdom. We're waiting for Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai's glory on planet earth, which when they get glory, we're going to get glory with it. Because Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is our, our power, man. He's our God. You know what I mean? I just did, you know, the, the, that that's the truth, man. I just did a video on that, you know. But um, it says, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in in the earth. And that's the point, bro. That we got to push this word until this place gets destroyed. Until, And then, like I said, that proves that. How is that everybody making it when the Lord specifically wants Jerusalem to be a praise in the earth? It didn't say Mecca. It didn't say Africa. It didn't say Europe. It didn't say that, bro. It said Yerushalayim, which said the 12 tribes of Israel, your so-called Negroes, with Indians and Puerto Ricans, Native Americans, and, not, and the ones of whom are scattered across the planet of, of the seed of, 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 the, of men, because men carry the seed. And a lot of you women of the tribe, you're going to fall in line, especially in the kingdom, bro. You're going to have to get in line. A lot of you are going to die. A lot, most people on the planet are going to die. Most people on the planet are going to, are going to die, bro. This is for the elect. Okay. Anyway, with that, I mean, I'm going to say Shalom, man. That was, I was, you know, that was pretty much the point. Shalom.